Welcome to the Geospatial Analysis for Urban Applications course. My name is Alexandros. I'm a GIS and Remote Sensing Engineer, and in this course we will talk about how we can use GIS and a bit of Python and all different kinds of data to perform insightful analysis for urban planning problems. So, let's talk a bit about urban planning. Almost every problem in urban planning is complex in time, space, and the necessary scientific background. Architecture, data analysis, psychology, economics, politics, law, and even medicine all play their part during planning and problem solving in the urban landscape. And this is where GIM, GIS comes in hand. GIS has almost unlimited capabilities when it comes to geographic data analysis, cartography, simulation, modeling, forecasting, and basically anything that involves data, data with coordinates. And all of that in a graphic and very user-friendly environment. But you should not limit yourself to the capabilities of standard GIS software. Computer programming, or scripting as we will see, might not be as user-friendly and easy to handle, but once you get the hang of it, all the capabilities that I mentioned before grow exponentially. You can easily test your solution sensitivity to changing parameters, get a better understanding of the mathematics of the problem, and of course faster and more efficiently in memory than a commercial software. So keep that in mind and we will get back to it later. This course is specifically how GIS as a tool is used to visualize and analyze urban problems. We will not look into these tools and methodologies as input-output black boxes. In my image processing course, I explain the structure and flow of the algorithms before applying them, and the same I will do here. A good course should not avoid the theory. It must present it in an abstract and easy to understand fashion. Now, I feel obligated to mention to the code phobics in the room that it's not a prerequisite to know programming code to complete this course. In the context that what has been done with code in this course has already been previously done with GIS. However, it would be a real pity if, after seeing how easy it is nowadays to write simple code, you don't get curious enough to try it on your own. In fact, the course is partially about that. If you are rusty in Python code, I suggest you take a look, look in my image processing with Python course. It is about a different subject, but should work just fine to refresh your memory about basic programming concepts, since we will not need any more than basic. Of course, if you have never heard of GIS before, you will have a bit of a hard time with the course. But if you have used it to even do the most basic processing and analysis, such as digitizing a reference map, you should have no problem following the course throughout. In contrast to my previous course, now I suggest you watch this one throughout the end, or at least throughout the end of each chapter, before doing stuff on your own. This will allow you to have a better and more complete understanding, and I think it will save you a lot of time. 